one year ago today, my dad passed away uh, after, you know, contracting and due to uh, COVID-19. And it's been a rough year, honestly, since then. Um, but I figure there's been a number of interesting things that I've gone through now, and I figure, why not, why not give him an update? So, here we go. Hello, sorry I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Hey, Dad. Um, it's been a while, so I figured I would give you an update as to what's going on with me. I guess lots of things have happened. Some good, some bad, some in between. But overall, it's been an interesting year. Um, I guess to go chronologically, uh, the first thing that really happened since you've been gone was, uh, well, other than, you know, I drank a lot, watched SWAT a few times, you know, things like that, but the first kind of major thing is, uh, I had a Christmas party with some friends, I mean, it was an early Christmas party, it took place in November, but we came, we all hung out at Ocean Isle Beach, it was fun, it was good times, you know, it was... It was strange and difficult to talk to people immediately, but it was fine. Um, then, uh, unfortunately, uh, had some issues with mental health, and unfortunately, uh, wrecked the car that you know you you helped me get, which sucks. And I feel bad about, but. <laughs> You know, things are doing better now. Um, let's see. So, the next thing is, uh, went home for Christmas and got to spend time with Mom. And, uh, you know, had a little bit of a sabbatical off there in Washington again. Got to see all the family, you know, got to see Jose and Mireya and all that for your, uh, for your service, which was, you know, it was good. Uh, it was hard, but it was good. Started to get back into exercising, but didn't do terribly great immediately. I wasn't making too much progress immediately. I wasn't really into it as much, but I started, I made the first steps toward, you know, getting into better shape. Broke up with my girlfriend, which was not great. That's a down point. But, you know, it's still important that you know. And life goes on. We're still friends, so it's not like things are horrible or anything, but it just... You know... Uh, I wasn't exactly in a conducive mindset to being in a relationship. And... I wasn't... Wasn't bringing a lot of positivity. It was kind of a big issue. Uh, so, you know, that was a thing. Uh, got speaking with a psychiatrist and getting my mental health in better order, which is good, and probably something that was long overdue. I got to take the truck on a number of road trips, went to, went across, uh, from Washington, North Carolina in three days' time, which was not advisable, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, truck made the trip well. And then I made the trip back, uh, with not that same time. It was closer to, like, five days, I think, for the return trip, and that was... Because the trip, trip one, I just went and didn't sleep. Trip two, I was trying to bed down and sleep each night, but then, at a certain point, I ended up just going on, like, an 18-hour stretch at the end, because... After having woken up day after day and knowing I had so much trip left to make, I was just like, I don't want to have to try and urge myself up again. 
I guess a big thing that happened is, uh, you know, going, I took a trip to Alaska, to Naknek, Alaska, to do some fish processing. That was an experience. Had a lot of fun, made new friends, which was cool, had new, new stuff, ha like, went and, uh, let's see, processed fish, worked 16 hour days, 7 days a week, which was fun, um, got sick at one point, and w it was actually funny, so I got sick, and I stayed home for like two days, because I was vomiting, but then after two days of sitting home making no money, it's like, well, guess I'm going back to work because I'm not getting any better. So I took a bunch of anti-nausea meds and uh, went back to work. And then I literally just go, <laughs> there'd be times where it's like, hey, I need to go use the bathroom for a second. It's like, why? It's like, I can't tell you why or you're going to send me home, but I need to go use the restroom. So I went to use the restroom, barfed, cleaned myself up, and then went back out on the line. Uh, I will say, fish processing, uh, not necessarily... I clean myself up and all that, but it's very good that the fish is kept cold throughout the entire process. That's all I'll say about that, because it's, it's not what I would call the cleanest process. Um, made, fr you know, made friends that were really cool. Scott, Tom, made friends from other places, too, because, like, Tom is from New Hampshire, and uh, Scott is from New Jersey, so you know, that's interesting. Uh, Steve, Connor, and Sergio, who are, well, I think Sergio went to New Mexico for school, and I think him and Connor are both from Chicago, or at least they live in Chicago, so that was cool. And then got back from the trip, I met other people too, but you know, um, got back from the trip and hung out in Seattle for a while, you know, got to spend time with all of them, drinking and partying and doing silly stuff, staying in, it's funny, we stayed in expensive hotels, but we'd split it like eight or nine ways, because we'd all just be like crowded into this fucking hotel, so we'd be staying in like a nice hotel, but we'd only be paying each like 30 bucks a night or something, it was funny, it was really fun, and like having everybody just kind of sprawled, it was, it was... It was one of those things where it's like, I wouldn't do that normally, but after coming back from the fishery, it didn't matter. It was just nice to be on our own time, so that was cool. <laughs> kind of had a weird thing where after coming back and, like, having spent so much time away from, uh, like, video game stuff, I'm not as big into video games as I was. Like, I haven't, I, for a while, I just wasn't, like, for a few, for a couple weeks after coming back, I wasn't really playing them much, and I was focusing on going to the gym. I was getting back into sh better shape, and then going, I did play more before I w went on another road trip, but I, uh, I'd spend more time, like, I went and hung out with Elise, another person I met at the fishery, we went and hung out in Seattle for a while, uh, that was fun, or f I should say for a while, for a day, like, we hung out in Seattle, like, I was more willing to do stuff outside and less just directly on game, like, I still played games, but it wasn't as, like, dedicated to gaming as I've often been, which is, it was weird at first, it's like, that's been my hobby all my life, basically, but now, I don't know, I feel like there's more to do. I made another road trip, this one more sane, I took many days to do it, I even went down, took another road trip from Washington to North Carolina, but this time, I helped, uh, Morgan's mother needed her travel trailer brought across, so got to tow with the old truck, got to hook that up and drive it down. I drove it down first to Flagstaff, Arizona, and I got to hang out with, uh, with, uh, Jess, a girl I met at, uh, at the fishery. Just a friend, nothing, like, we just hung out, chit-chatted, grab, we went to, actually, it was funny, we went to, uh, I think it was Dutch Bros Coffee, but I don't drink coffee. So she was like, oh, you can get this weird energy shot thing they have. I was like, all right, sure. And then she sat there chatting and sort of flirting with the, like, clerk for a little bit. And after we just sat there chatting for, like, she sat there in the line chatting for, like, eight minutes or whatever. And then finally he's just like, you know what? You guys go. I don't you, you don't even need to pay for it. You're good. It's like, you weasel us into free drinks. So that was funny. Finished the road trip, went from Flagstaff over, you know, North Carolina. I got back. <laughs> Uh, we went to a renaissance fair, Sam Morgan and I, that was fun. Uh, there were some minor debacles that occurred, but overall it was a fun time, I think, anyway. Going and hanging out in Charlotte for a few days. 
And now, weirdly enough, I'm in the process of getting a loan to buy a house, which is weird, because, like, I was thinking I was going to be, like, renting an apartment or whatever, but just looking at the financial side of it and all that, it's like, shit, it's actually going to be easier to get a loan and get a house, which is mind-boggling to me that that is, like, substantial substantially easier, like, yeah, I have to put up more, like, I have to, uh, I'm going for, a saving up six grand to put into a, uh, nice, healthy down payment on it, but if I do six grand on a down payment, I'm only paying, like, 400 and some a month, like, under $500 a month for a mortgage, it's just like, what the, f what, that doesn't, it doesn't feel right to me, but, uh, that's the most recent development as far as what I'll be doing is getting a house soon. Like, probably by the end of the year, buying a house all on my lonesome. Well, I guess this would be the bank buying a house and I just get to live there. But, you know, it's just weird. And, uh, yeah, I've done things and, like, there have been plenty of times where, uh, I really wish I could talk to you about it. I really wish I could, uh, you know, share the experience or, uh, tell you how things are going. But the important thing is that I think overall, and the thing you need to take away, is that we're doing fine. You know, um,. Obviously, each person is having their own thing, uh, you know, but AJ's doing good, you know, got a job, living in an apartment, like, he's got some new roommates and stuff, he's doing great, mom's doing better, like, she's handling things, uh, Kayla seems fine as well, you know, Anya, P, like, everyone seems... It's been hard... But, everyone is, uh, everyone's following through, <laughs> I guess, to use one of your words. Uh, oh, man, I forgot to mention, uh, when I got back to Wilmington, I've been going to the gym, like, a bunch, and I'm just in, like, way better shape. Maybe if I edit this well, maybe I'll put a picture of, like, a before and after or something, I don't know, maybe not, but, like, we getting in a great shape, I deadlifted 315 the other day, and that was solid, um, you know, running a seven-minute mile, uh, my squat's getting better, it's not great at all, but it's getting better, my bench is getting better, I'm like, been hitting the, I even fucked around with a punching bag and stuff, so, like, trying to w keep a well-rounded fitness and physique and all, but, uh, yeah, uh, almost forgot to bring that up, that's been, like, most of my, like, uh, free time since I've been back, is just going to the gym, and it's really been nice, it's been a good way to relieve stress and keep, you know, happy and all that stuff, so, that's been good. Today was... I was always expecting it to be rough, and it's, we'll see how, it, it's not been too bad, but, you know, the feelings are there, and it's shitty, um, but, yeah, I, we're all doing fine, I wish you were here, you never got to visit me in North Carolina. I never got to visit you in Wisconsin. Um, I'm gonna keep doing well. I'm gonna keep working through and following through and all that. We'll all keep doing you proud. We wish you were here to see it, but we'll keep making you proud.
Oh, man. This is hard. It's so hard. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, man. It's tough. Um, I love you, Dad. I miss you. I wish I could still talk to you at the end of the week. You know, give you a recap of what's going on. Um... I knew you'd be gone someday. I just didn't think it would be this soon. So. I'm proud of the life you lived. I'm proud of the life you lived. I appreciate the life you gave me. I hope I can keep making you proud. And I just really wish you were here today. I love you, Dad. Talk to you later.